Welcome to Getting Started with Zoom Events. In this video, we are going to look at the events portal, which is the home page for event organizers. Here, you have received an email that you have been assigned a Zoom Events license. Congratulations. Let's go set it up. We head over to events.zoom.us. Here we can name our hub. Don't worry, this can be changed later if you are undecided. Once that process is complete, you will then be offered a tour of the most important areas of the hub. Let's take a look at the, the hub tour. Perfect. Here we are seeing where we can build events, share on-demand content, measure performance, or upload visual assets. We'll go through all of these areas in detail in this video. When your tour is over, we have provided a simple onboarding checklist to help you get things set up correctly. Let's follow this checklist. First up, we will need to add our business information. This is a pretty straightforward process where you answer all the questions and provide all your company's information. And once that's done, there we go. We receive our first green check mark. Next up, we understand that events are usually run by a, a team. Let's build out our event team. Anyone we add here get the role of hub hosts. Hub hosts can view, edit, publish, and host events on your hub. The third step is to add your billing information for paid events. We support both PayPal and Stripe for payment processing. And if your account admin has allowed it, you can leverage account-wide billing information. Here, I'll connect to the corporate PayPal account that we have set up for this demo environment. Billing information may be different than company information, so be sure to complete this section and, and review all the details. Don't you just love checking stuff off a list? We are already halfway done. Let's start now building our branding. This visual editor lets you bring in your brand color codes and build color palettes to be used for your content hub or for any events you host on this hub. Many organizations like to build out a couple of different looks here, maybe a light look or a dark look. And once you have your colors locked in, you can begin to customize the various elements like page background and text color. You can choose to apply this exact color scheme to all new events with this toggle right here. And yes, even with this checked on, you can still customize individual events as needed. Now that we've built our branding, let's configure the content hub. The Content Hub is a dedicated landing page that contains upcoming and past events along with on-demand video content. Let's give our hub a main image. I'm going to use AI Companion here to create a nice looking futuristic office image for mine. I can then add a description, manage content categories, and add social links. Then back up at the top, you can find your Content Hub link. If you want to fully experience what a Content Hub can do, be sure to check out the link to our Zoom Events Hub in the description of this video. Final step on our checklist is to configure how our Content Hub works. Let's configure the settings. Here you can clean up the domain, set visibility settings, manage SEO exposure, and even hub notifications. That's it, you are set up. You've checked everything off the list and your hub is ready to begin hosting events. Now that we've completed our checklist, let's go back through a few of those sidebar tabs and ensure that we haven't missed anything along the way. As you can see, our events tab looks a little sparse here. 
Let's jump over to another hub that has more content built out and take a look at what that looks like. To navigate to other hubs that you can manage, click on this hub drop down in the top left. There we go, look at all these events. Events are grouped by their status, upcoming, draft, canceled. And we can view the events on our hub in a calendar view as well. This helps us stay ahead with any planning. It's kind of nice for an event team to be able to look at this view. From this view, we can manage our events with the menu button. Maybe we want to duplicate or transfer this event to another hub. Let's do that with this event. I choose transfer, select the destination hub, and let's go see if it ends up in the right place. Yep, there it is, right where it's supposed to be. The main point of the events tab is to create an event. We will be going through that process in the next video in this series. Our next sidebar item is video management. From here, we can view and manage recordings from our events along with any video content that we have uploaded. With the pencil icon, it is quick and easy to edit video metadata, including thumbnail and video tile. And the menu button opens up additional options as well, including the ability to trim the recording or add directly to a video channel. Let's, let's do that now. As you can see, it takes just a couple of clicks to publish a recording to a video channel that then we can publish out to our audience. These channels can be showcased on your content hub or used as individual links to distribute recordings. For more information on video channels, be sure to check out Introducing Video CMS from Zoom Events. Hub analytics are incredibly powerful and currently in beta. From here, you can see a high level view of how events and video content is performing across your entire hub. You can take a quick view of overall attendance or registration trends, along with a grid of all of your event performance metrics. Lots more to come in this area, so be sure to stay tuned. Assets give you access to content that can be used across your entire hub. The content library lets you upload and organize your visual assets. And from here, you can also access your poll library and manage any of your stream keys. Finally, if you're an account admin, you also have access to the account tab. From this tab, admins can control paid events and fundraising. They can allow hubs to leverage the corporate billing and payout methods, or they can manage add-on licenses like additional hosts or co-editors or video CMS licenses for your users. Let's go ahead and assign a CMS license to the new hub we just created. Last thing, while we are talking to admins, your account settings also have a few specific sections where you can manage Zoom events. First, the AI companion section has a Zoom events area. Here you can enable Smart Compose, Image Generation, and Smart Upload. These are all available to you and your company. Second, there's an entire Zoom events tab full of admin features for you to manage how your organization uses Zoom events overall. Be sure to familiarize yourself with this tab and all of Zoom Events features. All right, we are off to a great start. By now, you're probably chomping at the bit, ready to build out your first event. Be sure to check out our next video on event setup and configuration.